been two months since disbarred low country attorney Alec Murdoch was convicted by a Colleton County jury of murdering his wife Maggie and his son Paul. And now his defense attorneys say they need more money to appeal those convictions. Defense attorney Jim Griffin argues the lawyers need an additional $160,000 for appeals. Right now, the money is in the hands of receivers who took hold of Murdoch's assets back in 2021. Nick Neville live on the story for us after covering the six week long murder trial. So Nick, where do things stand right now with the money? Yes, Greg. So the receivers are set to divvy up the money at a later date to people making claims that Murdoch stole from them. The defense attorneys argue that Murdoch should be able to take this money because he has a Sixth Amendment right to legal counsel of his choosing on appeal. Attorneys for the receivers argue that there's no legal precedent for this. Alec Murdoch's defense attorneys requesting $160,000 from his frozen assets to defend his murder convictions. The Sixth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution guarantees the defendant the right of counsel of his choice. We, we have made a reasonable request for fees. Counsel for Murdoch and the receivers of his assets argued before Judge Daniel Hall Wednesday. The Murdoch defense previously entered into an agreement to access $600,000 from his 401k account for his double murder trial. Murdoch's defense attorneys say they exhausted those funds defending their client during the trial. We complied with your order and brought it to everyone's attention. There's this amount of money. We think we only need $600,000. Boy, were we wrong, but we're not here complaining about that. What we're here is to be compensated for work going forward to handle his appeal. John T. Lay for the receivers argues that awarding money to the convicted killer goes against the purpose of the receivership and gives him preferential treatment over other victims of his alleged financial crimes. Our goal here is making sure no one gets out ahead. If they go ahead and get their money now without that sort of accounting, claim process, and evaluating vis-a-vis -vis every other claimant, then they're getting an inappropriate preference. Among those victims, the Satterfield family. If you reward his theft today, you have just pushed him in the front of the line when he's already given me a judgment for my clients of 4.3 million plus accrued interest, and you know that he admitted stealing $8 million from clients in his murder trial. I asked criminal defense attorney Susan Williams to evaluate the arguments. I'm 100% in favor of the victims getting the money. And I believe there's also, there's no Sixth Amendment uh, argument for attorneys for appeal. There's nothing wrong with having a public defender from the indigent uh, defense. Judge Hall says he expects to have a decision on this matter by May 12th. Live in the studio, Nick Neville, WIS News 10. All right, Nick, thanks so much. Meanwhile, attorney Susan Williams says that she does not believe that the Murdoch defense team has a strong basis for appeal and expects the Court of Appeals will affirm all of Judge Clifton Newman's rulings during the trial.